Now, let's talk about managing your collection of nickel metal hydride batteries. Now that I can accurately measure the performance of my rechargeable batteries, and I've learned that it isn't trivial to keep them ready for optimal use, I've developed some helpful tricks and procedures that I'd like to share with you. These will help you manage your batteries and they will save you time and money. First, you need to arrange space for your batteries according to their readiness for use and for taking turns on the charger. When you need a set of batteries, you want to know you're getting a fully charged set and you'll find it convenient to have them arranged accordingly. I've dedicated the large drawer of a handy desk for this purpose because it has a lot of available horizontal sprawl space, allowing me to arrange my batteries according to their charge state and to easily slide them around into new positions as a newly charged batch comes off the charger. A second good idea. Label each battery with its measured energy capacity and the date of last charge. I use little paper labels for this and I purchased them from the Avery Corporation through a local office supply store. This is not as simple as it sounds because most of my batteries are decorated with some kind of uh, really slippery paint that won't let the label adhesive stick very well. I've learned that it's best to attach labels without any writing at all on them and then to cover them with a small patch of Scotch Magic Transparent Tape that I can write on with a pencil. When the information changes, I can then just erase and rewrite it. Having this data written directly on each cell allows me to know for sure when it's time to recharge or potentially discard each cell. Third, it's a good idea to group batteries of similar age and capacity so that devices that need three or four batteries can always get cells that are likely to discharge at about the same rate. Fourth, Whenever you use one of the cheap, dumb chargers like this one, you should always set some kind of an alarm timer that will remind you to remove them after a few hours. You don't want your expensive batteries frying in your cheap battery charger after they've been fully charged. I found it helpful to keep an inexpensive kitchen timer in the drawer with my dumb charger so I can hear it as a reminder. Fifth, you need a regular schedule for rotating batteries through your electronic devices and through your charger. You really cannot just leave these in a seldom used electronic device for a long time and then expect it to be ready for use when you need it. Choose a schedule that will tend to get every one of your cells through a charge cycle at least once every couple of months. Because I have about 60 of these cells and a dozen or more devices that use them, I find it necessary to keep at least four of them charging at all times and to rotate each batch every morning. Sixth. You might benefit from two or three chargers like these, and an advanced one that can repair and calibrate overused batteries, and one or two others for routine use. Remember to monitor them carefully, especially if they aren't smart enough to shut themselves down when they get too hot. Conclusions I know that all of this sounds very complicated. It, it really is cumbersome. From my experience, I've learned that nickel metal hydride batteries really are not as convenient as the manufacturers imply when they take your money at the retailers. Those manufacturers really have no incentive to explain all of these caveats to you. Quite to the contrary, they will make a lot more money if you don't understand these things. But if you do take advantage of the information in this publication, you can beat them at their own game and you can save hundreds of dollars during the lifetime of a set of batteries. I hope you are ready to do just that. Our battery charging setup can be fully solar powered. Please join us in the electricity section at AskMrWizard.com to see how we built a solar power plant in our backyard that is capable of sustaining our entire household in an emergency and that significantly diminishes our electric bill each month. You'll also find useful additional details about nickel metal hydride batteries and battery chargers. We appreciate your support. Thank you. More segments of this video clip are available at www.askmrwizard.com in our electricity section. This video clip comes from a large collection of related clips. All are indexed and easy to find on our website, along with text articles, illustrations, and forums. Please visit us today www.askmrwizard.com, your technology magazine online.